What is up everyone, it's Clip here and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Optifine using Forts for Minecraft. So the reason I created this video is because there is usually a bug people struggle with. They can't run Optifine and Forts at the same time. But in this video I will explain how you can run both of them at the same time using Forts to run Optifine. First of all, if you're new to this channel and you would like to learn more about Minecraft, then I recommend you subscribe because I have a bunch of tutorials like this one on my channel and I would appreciate it a lot and I think you would benefit from it. So yeah, let's get into the video. So starting off, you need to download Forts. So go to this site, the link will be in the description and look for the version that you want. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using 1.16.5. So once you've clicked on the version that you want, so I'm going to click on 1.16.5, then locate download recommended block right here. There will be a star icon next to it and then look for installer. You're going to click on that. Now it's going to take you to this add focus site. Over here just wait and don't click anything. At the top right you will find there's a countdown and once it's done it's going to say skip. So click on skip. Then it will start downloading forts. So while that's downloading go to this other site. The link will also be in the description. This is where you download Optifine. So this is going to be the home page. Locate Downloads, then click on that. Under Downloads, look for the version that you want. So you're going to say Show All Versions and locate the exact version that you downloaded for Forts. This should be the same version. So I'm going to say 1.16.5. I'm going to download this one. Once you've found your version, click on Mirror. And it's going to take you to this site. And here you click Download. Say allow and now it downloaded Optifine. Both of these are going to say they can harm your device but they can't. So we're going to say keep on both of them like this. Okay so they're done. Now we're going to open Ford. So click on that and run it. So it's going to open the installer. You're going to say install client and it's going to have the directory over here. It should be under dot minecraft under roaming under app data. So make sure it's under .minecraft and then say OK. Now it's installing. OK, successfully installed. So say OK. Cool, now we have forts. Now the next step is going to be pressing Windows and R on your keyboard and you're going to see this run command over here. Over here you're going to be typing in percentage app data percentage and say OK. Then it's going to open your roaming file over here look for .minecraft. So double click on that and look for mods. Double click on that. This folder is going to be empty, so we're going to put Optifine over here. So open your downloads folder and over here you will find the Optifine that you just downloaded. So drag that to your mods folder under .minecraft. And there we have it. We installed Optifine in Forts. Now the next step is going to be launching Minecraft. I already have it open, so I'm just going to close it real quick and relaunch it. So I'm relaunching Minecraft right now. Once you've installed Forts, it's going to be in this list. So click on this arrow over here and locate it. So here's mine for 1.16.5. So we have Forts for 1.16.5 installed and under our mods folder we have Optifine for 1.16.5. Now the next step is going to be pressing play. And there we go. As you can see over here at the left corner it says Forts 36.1.0. That's going to be the Forts version that we have. And to affirm that we have Optifine installed, go to Options, Video Settings, and look at this. This is Optifine. It allows you to equip shaders, also mess around with your quality, performance, and other stuff like that. Cool. So you just installed Optifine using Forts. If you had any problems, then please let me know in the comments down below, or join the Discord server. And always remember, any computer is a laptop if you're brave enough. Thank you guys so much for watching, like the video if it helped, and yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.